Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform about virtualization and topics around virtualization. Today's video presentation is going to be a straightforward one and one on a topic and a feature that I've covered before. But as I was setting up to directly download this copy of Debian for a project for a future video, I discovered that I had to look at some of the documentation and explore their website a little bit to get the hash key to verify this download. So why not create a video? I thought this was a great opportunity to make a nice short video for you guys that may also help you understand how to use this feature when downloading Debian. So with that, let's look here at the Debian website and in order to download the operating system, we're gonna hit download. So when we click download, you may not see because of the way my screen recorder is configured, a window will pop up soon after clicking on the page asking you to download or set up the download location for your image. You want to go ahead and click cancel or X or one of the following depending on what operating system you're on and remove that. Then it's going to take a second as the page kind of reloads and you'll be at this screen here once again. Now, there's two different links here that we're gonna pay attention to when we start configuring the direct download feature for Debian with Proxmox 7. So the first link is going to be right here, this Debian 11.30 AMD64 net install ISO. The next link is going to be the one that's right below it that says download checksum. Let's go ahead, right click on the SHA 512 sums, and let's open a new tab. So with that tab open, we're going to get three different checksums. The checksum we wanna pay attention to is the one that I'm highlighting right here, the first one, as it's for the net install ISO that we're going to grab the image of. All right, so let's head back to that download image, download page rather, and let's hover our mouse over the Debian 11.3 AMD net install ISO, right click, and then go down to copy link address. The terminology may be different if you're on Mac, but it should sound similar. So with that copied to our clipboard, we can go ahead and go to our Proxmox window and we're going to select the drive that we use for installing images on. In most default installation cases for Proxmox, that's going to be called local. If you've configured another drive, I understand that you'll probably know what that drive is called and what you intend on using it for. Then we're gonna select ISOs and we're gonna hit download from URL. This will open a screen that will activate our direct download window. So let's go ahead and paste in the URL that we found on the Debian website. Then we need to give the file a name. Now this name can be whatever you want. I usually copy and paste the manufacturer's ISO name in you wanna make sure that you add .iso at the end of that. If not, nothing will really work. Now, your window may look like this right here. We can activate the file checksum feature by checking advanced. And then as we can tell over here, we're looking at the SHA 512 sums. So back here, in the hash algorithm drop down, we're going to select SHA 512, and now it activates our checksum box. So, back at our web page, we'll go to that tab we opened, and that checksum that I highlighted earlier, we're going to copy that again, and we're going to paste that in the checksums field of the download URL window and then we're gonna press download. So this now automatically downloads the ISO. And then 
does the checksum calculations right there. So you can verify that the ISO you downloaded has not been tampered with and works correctly. I hope you enjoyed tonight's little presentation on how to download an image of Debian and use the SHA checksum directly onto your Proxmox server and you find it useful in the future. As always, have a good night.